was it like being down there on the field and getting the cheers? And that? I mean, it's awesome. I felt like I wanted to run in and put my cleats on, grab them cleats, and put some shoulder pads on, and let's go. Did you, um, you went, when were you originally, they were originally trying to get you in here earlier, right? Uh, 2019. Okay. 2019, and obviously I was busy. I was busy. Uh, coaching, trying to take care of the fitness, and this opportunity here is uh, even better. What was it like when you, the college football Hall of Fame ceremony when you went up there? How, how was that? It was awesome. Uh, Coach Andrew showed up, uh, made a just the being around the other guys and the festivity that we had, uh, just the memories, telling the stories, uh, something special. Have you? Uh, I saw Snoop down there. Any other yeah. former guys around? I've seen uh, uh, Peter Warwick. Uh, obviously, I've talked to uh, Derek Brooks. Uh, I know Dion called Tex, uh, John Davis, a bunch of other guys. Uh, yesterday, I saw a bunch of guys here. We had the legacy ball. Can't hear me? No, it's too low. You're, you're on. <laughs> okay. Hold the mic. <laughs> Um, and how excited are you about the opportunity to coach uh, on the new XFL? Uh, anytime you get an opportunity to be a head coach, uh, put the work in. It's been 15 years and felt like I was ready. And to get this opportunity, uh, I'm very, very excited about it. And to be able to do it in the state of Florida, in Orlando. Uh, and, and some of the players that, that hopefully I made a draft and, and have on the team to, to help develop. I'm really, really looking forward to that. Is that a goal of yours to be a head coach one day? Yes, it's always. You know, you get into something and you, you ask yourself, if I put in the work like I suppose, to, what's the end result? And I felt like a couple of years ago, I felt like I was uh, ready and this opportunity came, uh, came about and I took advantage of it. So what is it like being the head coach of an expansion team? Yes. I mean, what is the day-to-day -day like kind of leading up to the season? It is it is awesome. It, it, the vision of uh, XFL with uh, The Rock and, and Chairwoman Garcia has been innovative. Uh, uh, and, and you start from the ground up. So you can kind of create it and cultivate the way you want to. That's what's exciting. That, that, okay, so we try this, we have these Zoom meetings, and you just discuss the ideals and what could be good for the players, for the league, and yourself, and you combine all those things. Just moving your career on the field, you know, at Florida State, what was it like being a defensive player and being such a playmaker with all the plays you made in special teams and defensive wise? As a football player, I thought I was a football player that happened to play corner and felt like I was a playmaker. Uh, the feeling was, I'm gonna put in, you put in the work, the results will take care of itself. And I always dream of having those results of making plays and having a major impact for the team and helping the team win. And uh, very thankful I was able to do that. You mentioned helping the team win. What was it like being not only having the individual success, but getting to be a part of the dynasty under Coach Bowden? You know, you can have all the individual success you want. I always tell my teammates, uh, I am who I am because of you. And when you win, you create this legacy, you create this atmosphere, uh, all these memories that everybody talks about now. And they do it with uh, Coach Bowden as the head coach, and Coach Mickey Angel as the defense coordinator. Uh, it's, it's very, very special. Speaking of Coach Bowden, you know, um, what are you taking from him, from playing under him, to, for your job as coaching now? Well, I say when you see, you know, Dion and I was talking about this, when you see us coach, you're going to see Coach Bowden, you're going to see Big Andrews. That's how special those two guys have been to myself and other coaches. You got, you got Tony on your staff, but you also have some Mahler, you got some Kings, you have. You got the whole state covered. <laughs> got a king, got a gator, got a couple of Seminoles. We're going to outnumber them, of course, obviously. And I, and I, I like bossing them gators and canes around, too. So that's, that's pretty special. But yes, that's the plan. All those guys, obviously, great players. All of them have to coach and 
help develop players. So my whole thing was, why not? And I've been knowing Shane a long time, uh, as well as Lamar. And I think it's a great fit for, for us and Orlando. I'm late to this, so I know you've already been asked this. You're going to get charged. <laughs> Probably. Um, but being back tonight, being on the field, being back inside Joe, just how special was that moment for you? Very special. Anytime you can come in, come back to somewhere where you have such great memories, and tonight is electric like you remember, uh, it's, it's a special feeling. And, and the reception that I received is, is second to none. A little bit surreal there, being on the field, taking in that moment. I was telling him I was ready to get my coach and shoulder pads and, and seeking I help make a play. I think I have two plays in me, cover two, of course, no man to man. Uh, <laughs> go make some plays uh, and hopefully get in the end zone. Rob, congratulations on your award. Thank you. Uh, have you, are you happy for Leroy and his big team? Have you had a chance to visit with him since he won? You know, I've been pushing for Leroy. I felt like he should have been in a couple of years ago. Yes, I'm happy, and my for, for what I was doing and try to get him in, I told him, I need a jersey. So as soon as he did that, I called, got my jersey, sent my jersey right away, and I'm very, very ecstatic and happy. Uh, I feel like part of me was on it. You know, you get teammates and nice guys that deserve it. You, you just, I feel like it was me. I mean, I was very, very happy. Rudy Hubbard was on the field tonight too, obviously, him being at FAMU, local tie as well. What did he say to you on the field tonight? I heard him say a couple words to you. We're just saying congratulations to Zerk, and I told him I really appreciate that and what he did at FAMU. So a bunch of congratulations and hugs and all that. We have two successful people uh, standing beside each other uh, that understand what it took to get there, not just you, but other people. You, you have that. Uh, that warm feeling. So you want me to get the club? Yes. <laughs> of course. Yes. You had one of the best junior seasons probably ever because, you know, having 12 picks and all the, the stats you put up. What was it like your 1991 season that you had? Also the team success as well. Oh man, it, it was special. It, it just worked out that way with the pass rush we had, coach, the defense, Coach Andrews was calling. Uh, and the support I had in the second uh, in the secondary allowed me to make those plays. And the Lord blessed me with the talent to to bring them home. And it's a season you'll never forget. I know I know. What was it like when you picked off that pass in Michigan and jumped in the stands? You know, it's kind of a signature play. You know, what was going through your mind when you made that play? It was it was expected to make those plays. I mean, it was one of those things, how we practice, three-step read, eyes on the receiver, back to the quarterback, find the ball, make the play. To do it and put 110 on their hands, make them sit on their hands, they were clapping, make them sit on their hands, uh, very, very special. And to get off to that start, obviously it's something I never forget. Thank you.